It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. It's officially that time. We got to dive into Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Obviously, I have heard this before, but I've never sat down and just listened to it. It's something that I've heard played at like a party or in someone's car, like in passing while I'm doing other things and I'm not really focused on the song. But it's one of those things where I feel like everybody's heard this. This is probably one of the most popular songs ever, but I thought, you know what? Let's dive in. Let's sit down. Let's give it a full on listen. Now that we're doing some queen reactions, you guys can let me know in the comments what else you guys want me to check out from queen and we'll kind of keep moving from there. So let's get into it. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide No escape from reality Open your eyes Look up to the skies and see song is so amazing I like how they went back and forth. Easy come, easy go. Anyone that's wearing headphones will know what I'm talking about. But you know, now, now that I think about it, I don't know if I've heard it from them specifically. This is probably one of the most covered songs ever. I've heard a lot of covers to it. Pentatonix, Putri Ariani, probably others. And I, I don't know that I've heard them actually perform it. I don't know. Who knows? But either way, I'm excited for this. And what's funny is the very first Queen reaction I did on this channel I ended up saying in my next one that I didn't know that Freddie Mercury was a part of Queen. And I, I didn't know that. Now I know that. But I think also I knew what he looked like with the shorter hair and the older video that I checked out very first reaction I did. Can't get my words out. He had the longer hair. And I think that that's why I just it didn't even cross my mind that this is him. To me. Just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life had just begun, but now I've gone and thrown it all away. Mama, that man's voice is gold. One question I have for you guys that know more about this, was there an inspiration behind this song, like something specific that had happened or occurred that led to this song being created? Because sometimes, you know, there, there's a situation that happens or there's just something behind it outside of it just being a song because of the whole like, you know, if I don't make it home tomorrow, mama carry on. And again, it could just be a concept, but there might also be something behind it. Makes you want to sing along. Okay. That guitar coming in was beautiful. I see a little 
silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the bandango? <laughs> Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 Galileo Magnifico. I'm going to be honest with you, hearing this with their voices right now, I've never actually heard their version. 100% I've never heard their version, which is crazy to me. But that just lets you know that this song has such a far reach that you heard it in some form or fashion because somebody covered it. And a lot of people have done that. But this, this part, like there was a certain voice in the beginning here. That 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 second Galileo and the high pitch like I've I've never heard it from them. I know I know for a fact when I heard that part right there that this is something I've not heard from them before. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo I'm just a poor boy and nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from this monstrosity. Easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Bismillah. No. Mamma mia, mamma mia, <laughs> let me go. Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me. For me, for me. Woo, let's go. such a versatile song. Yo, that was actually amazing. This is this is the first time that I've I've heard the originals perform their own song. It's wild because I've definitely heard this covered multiple times throughout the years. But again, I've never really like went out of my way to do it. It's just such a popular song. Inevitably, you're going to hear it. I feel like everybody's heard it. Everybody. But it's such a versatile song in the sense that it changes direction so strongly at points, right? Like it starts off one way. Like you almost hit, it, it almost feels like three, at least three different songs just kind of mushed together. And by mushed, I don't mean like in a, like mashed up, you know, what I mean? like I don't mean that in a bad way because it, it, the transitions work perfectly, but it's just like you get like three different moods through it. And then towards the end, like, dun, 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 dun. like, it, like, I don't, I just like it. I really, really do enjoy it. And I feel like that's probably a big part of why it's so popular, but I don't know the background behind it at all. Like, was there a reason why they made it? Like what? What inspired this song is what I'm looking for. So if anybody knows, comment it down below. I do appreciate you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see from Queen or other groups. I'm always looking for more stuff. And I feel like every so often I come across a popular group who I'm familiar with the name. And I'm like, wow, why have I not checked out their music yet? So lead me. Lead me on that path, baby. I appreciate you guys. I will catch you in the next one, homies.